Hello and welcome in this video for an exercise given during the admission in Oxford. So this exercise is this one. A and B are two positive integers if A plus B equals to 20. So you would like to give the value of the maximum of A squared B. So if you want to give a try, please pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. There are many ways to solve this exercise. One way, for example, is to do a list of all the values. You know that a, b are positive integers. a plus b equals 20, so you do a list. Well, you start with a equals to 1, then b equals to 19, then a equals to 2, then b equals to 18, and so on and so forth. And every time you calculate a squared b and you pick up the highest number. Okay, let's solve this exercise in a different way. We focus on that. a plus b equals to 20. Let's express one value function of another one. Let's call b equals to 20 minus a. The maximum of a squared b equals to the maximum of a squared times 20 minus a. This is also equals to the maximum of, if you distribute, you end up with negative a cube plus 20 a squared. To know the maximum of a quantity, this is a problem of optimization. So to solve this problem, let's create a function f such as f of a equals to negative a cube plus 20 a square. Then, if you want to calculate the maximum point, you should start by calculating the first order derivative. Let's do that. Negative 3a squared plus 40a. So now you factorize by a and you obtain a times negative 3a plus 40. You know, now, if you want to find the critical point, you should set the first order derivative equals to zero. This is a format theorem, okay? And then you've got two cases. The first one, a equals to zero. But if you remember, a, b are positive integers. So this case is no longer valid. The other case, negative 3a plus 40 equals to 0. That means a equals to 40 divided by 3, which is a positive value. So at this stage, I would like to know if this is a maximum, a minimum, or something else. So let's calculate the second order derivative f double prime of a equals to negative 6a plus 40. Next step, this is to plug this value, 40 third, and to calculate and you obtain f double prime of 40 third. This is a strictly negative value. So you end up with this value at a equals 40 divided by 3. This is a maximum point. But 40 divided by 3, this is not an integer. So we need to look for the closest natural number next to 40 divided by 3. Let's do that. 
40 divided by 3. This is this is between 42 divided by 3 and 39 divided by 3. Well, in other words, this is between 13 and 14. So A is 13 or 14. Let's see both cases. Case number one, if A equals to 14. Remember, A plus B equals to 20. B equals to 6. So now you can calculate the value of A squared B. This is 14 squared times 6. This is 196 times 6. This is 1,176. Second case, if A equals to 13, A plus B equals to 20, so B equals to 7. A squared B, this is 13 squared times 7. This is 169 times 7. And this is 1183, which is uh, greater than 1176. So the final answer is 1183. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't hesitate to leave me a comment and uh, I see you in the next video.